Hello everyone, this is Shiggity Shig, and uh, just yesterday I posted a video showing a montage of the Mac OS X intros from 10.1 through 10.5, a very nice piece of history, as uh, one of my online, uh, very good online friends told me and, and stated. And uh, okay, uh, today I'm here to show you uh, how to easily and quickly extract the OS X intro files, like I basically, which is what I did to, to make that video I posted just yesterday, which is Saturday, the, the 22nd, I believe, the uh, 21st of March, yes. Okay, so, actually, let me double check that. Yes, yes, it was the 21st of March yesterday on Saturday. Okay, so, yes, I know, okay, just, just to, uh, to make something straight here, yes, I do realize there are videos already that show you how to uh, find the files by going into all these different folders and etc. But well, the way I'm about to show you is straightforward, rather easy, and uh, it takes uh, two minutes to do. Yes, I know the other method, if you know what you're doing, can, uh, can take uh, just some, the same amount of time or less, but here's an alternate method if you don't want to uh, you know, go searching in folders and where you're going to you ruin anything, etc. So, here's my desktop, right? And um, you'll need, first of all, you'll need to insert your Mac OS X install disk. It doesn't have to be Leopard, because this is, this is going to work on pr pretty much any release of Mac OS X since uh, the public beta, which is 10.0, codenamed Cheetah. Okay, so, here's the desktop and my lovely dock. I'm not going to go start explaining what everything is here, but what we want, what you need to do is get a program called Pacifist. It's shareware, but, uh, you know, I, I bought it, and it, I decided to uh, use the name Pacifist251. Don't ask me why. It was spur of the moment. Anyhow, so, once Pacif Pacifist is open, you're going to want to click on Open Install Disks, okay? And, by, by the way, you can get, um, you, you can get Pacifist from Charles, like Charles right here, Charles, and add the word soft next to it, like software, all one word, charlessoft.com, grab the program, and um, if you like it, please support the author like I did. And um, now, we're going to click on Open Apple Install Disks. It's going to see that the install DVD is in the computer. We're going to click on Choose, and it's going to run its course and open up the contents of the disk. And... Um, It'll take about a minute and a half to two minutes or so. So, I mean, maybe less. I haven't timed it. <laughs> so just give it a moment while it loads everything. And um, while it's doing that, I'd like to encourage anyone watching this that if you like my videos, please subscribe to my content. And um, if you would like any other tutorial videos like this to be made, just pop in a comment or pop it in a, a YouTube message or as they call it, YouTube email. <laughs> and... Um, I'll gladly do it if it's within my uh, power to do it, if, if uh, my computer can handle it, etc. And um, it's on the printer driver, so it's going to uh, tackle the languages next. And um, once it's open, I'll uh, continue here. Alright, let's see. It's stuck on Xerox printer drivers. Okay, there it goes. Now it's going through all the, the fonts and languages. And it's three quarters of the way done. And, um, let's see, you know, without this program, uh, I would, I don't know what I'd do. Because, uh, Pacifist is very handy. Of course, it works with any package file, package installation file for Mac OS X. And, um, I use it, not daily, but I use it very often for when I need something uh, out of a program or what have you. And, uh, it's almost done. It's on Portuguese, Polish, it's going to go Swedish, uh, actually, no, it's Swedish already. Okay, there we go. Now, here's the main window of Pacifist, okay? And, so, if you click on the contents of OS install the MPKG, it'll show the, the full, um, the full size when installed, given you're using this to install the system. If you want to, you can click down on the triangle, you can see all the contents, and in turn, click on each of these triangles, okay? But, for this video, all we need to do is go up to this little search box, the little find box right here, and type in the word intro and hit enter. 
Okay, it's going gonna, it's gonna to spin for a minute, it's going to go in there. Okay, now you'll see a search results drawer or panel, whichever you want to call it, side panel, uh, or, or uh, flip, jump, a flip out, whichever, and um, scroll to almost the bottom. Well, I mean, I mean, not almost the bottom, just about a little bit more than halfway. And what we have, what's this? Intro dash sound to MP3 and intro that move. Now, you notice that when I click on it in the search results, it in turn finds it in the main uh, pacifist window here. Okay? Now, click on the intro that move, the MOV, and while the shift key is down, click on intro dash sound dot MP3. Now, okay, now that it's selected, what do you do, right? You can take it and drag it to your desktop, desktop like so, and it's going to ask you if you want to use administrator privileges. You say no, because it's nothing sensitive that needs you to uh, make sure that you're doing it right. We're doing it right. Click, click on Extract, and it's going to Extract, and it's almost done. There you go. There are the two files. <laughs> you notice I don't have my uh, uh, my arranged by set to by name, so it's going to scatter a bit, but that's okay. Okay, so that, that that works. That's one way of doing it. Now let me delete them for a minute. Don't worry, they're not gone for good. They're on the actual DVD that I have in. Now, there, with with the two files still selected, click on Extract to. Excuse me, I'll scratch my nose a minute. Okay, and I'll take a moment. If you have uh, several hard drives and they're, they're going uh, given, you want to save it to there. It's gonna wake them up. Okay. Now, the desktop is active, and uh, you can just in turn say choose, or if you're like me, you like keeping things organized and categorized without having jumbles of files on, on your screen. Let's call this intro files, excuse my typos, <laughs> okay, and then click choose, and again, say the same exact window comes up asking if you want to extract the files, and you do not want to use administrative privileges for this, uh, this procedure. Click on extract. It'll do the same exact thing as before. Yeah, uh, you know, this um, extract to method is one step more. But like I said, if you're someone like me and you like to keep things organized from the get-go, that's how you do it. All right. Thank you for watching. This has been a video on how to use a program called Pacifist in conjunction with your Mac OS X install disk on how to find the intro files. And um, shortly, I'm going to actually make another video on how to combine excuse me again, on how to combine the two files into one file uh, as played when you install the system or get a new Mac with Leopard. Thanks very much. Subscribe to my videos if you like my content. And um, I'll see you again shortly with another video. Have a great day, everyone. Have a great Sunday.